Okay, now we're going to start with wedging techniques. With all the different kinds of ceramic processes that we use, we start with clay that is properly wedged. Wedging does basically four things. It mixes the clay, it can remove moisture from the clay, it removes air bubbles from the clay, and it also aligns the molecules in the clay to make the clay more workable and more conducive for making ceramic forms. The first wedging technique that I'm going to show you is called the European method. It is a symmetrical wedging technique. We take our two hands, use them the same way on both sides of the clay, and we roll down on the clay with our hands while we're cupping the clay. I'm not using a lot of force, but just enough so I can push the clay down and I'm cupping it as I'm doing this. Some potters have called this the monkey face technique because the result of the wedging method produces an image like a monkey. To determine the amount of time you spend wedging using this technique, I count. I count wedging motions. And typically, it takes 75 to 100 wedging motions to properly wedge the clay. A nice way to see what's happening with the clay is to put a little slug of clay on the top of this and as we wedge we can watch this work its way down to the bottom and then it goes underneath and starts to disperse on the back side it'll come around and coil around the top part and that is how the clay mixes very simple and effective wedging technique. As we finish the wedging technique, after we've wedged it for about 75 to 100 times, we slowly release our pressure and we do more rolling on the clay. We can see the backside, the spiral quality of the clay that gives us an idea of the molecular alignment of the clay. And now we're ready to use this clay on the potter's wheel or to make hand-built vessels. A second wedging technique is called the Asian technique and its origin comes from countries in Asia. It's an asymmetrical wedging technique. The left hand is performing one maneuver and the right hand is performing another. The left hand is pushing down and the right hand is containing. We have this kind of seashell shape. It also reminds us of a tornado, hurricane kind of shape. Let's monitor this clay on its journey as it gets wedged. We can see how that slug of clay has traveled around on top of the, the cone. We can see where it's going. I'm going to put a hole in there so we can watch it because the right hand has to push down on that area. And we can see how that is spiraling, spiral, going in a spiral direction around the top part of the ball of clay. 
and once again about 75 to 100 wedging motions. And as we complete this wedging technique, we slowly release from the clay and create this cone. And now the clay is ready to use 